Hey fellow travellers, how's it going today? My name is Philip and today we're talking first aid. Welcome back to Travel Talk, the channel where we cover all your travelling needs. Today I'm going to cover first aid kits. We look at just your small personal first aid kit that I advise you and all the essentials I think you should be traveling with. In future episodes, we can have a better look at the larger medical kits you'll need for multiple day expeditions, hiking trips, kits you'll need in your car. But today, like I said, we just look at the small personal first aid kit with all the pills, plasters, potions you'd need for your travels. So without any further ado, let's get started. Right, first up, the pouch. Doesn't really matter which one you have, doesn't have to be a brand, doesn't even have to be a dedicated first aid pouch. This one I've picked up along the way, I can't even remember where or how long ago, but it's been on many travels with me. Another thing you can use if you don't have a pouch, a lot of the airlines, the good airlines will give you a little toiletry kit that you can have on the plane, chuck the content out after you used it. This makes a good size travel first aid kit. But I always have a pair of gloves, sometimes two. I also have this face shield and willing to do CPR on someone. Have a barrier device, protect yourself at all times. Then I have travel wipes, keep my hands clean, disinfect it. You also get the alcohol gel. And I have micropore, what I refer to as the medical duct tape. This size is quite narrow, you get thicker and wider ones, but it is essential. You can cover blisters with it, small lacerations, abrasions. I always take along my own cold caps. Never know when a cold or flu can hit you. There's nothing worse than not being able to find any. I have a shellfish allergy, and I know many other people have food allergies, hay fever, all of those type of problems. So I always carry my antihistamine, anti-allergy tablets with me. Sometimes an airline can sneak in some food you're allergic to in their menu and food without you knowing it. Or in case you have an exotic meal and you don't know all the ingredients and there's something in there you're allergic to, very important to have this with you. It's a nasal stick. If I get blocked noses, I get a bit of sinus problems, especially flying, air conditioning, air pressure. This will clear your nose out in no time. I always have a lip balm with me. I find that Carmex works the best for me and I would recommend it for anybody. I'm an asthmatic. I always travel with an inhaler and I have this spare canister with me in the first aid kit. My inhaler itself is on my person. I carry some sleep aids with me. Just with all the traveling, different time zones, jet lag, this will help out getting yourself back into a normal sleeping pattern, just make sure you can have it and you're allowed to have it in the country that you are visiting. Earplugs, they will go with the sleep aids if I need to get over jet lag quickly. Earbuds, cotton buds, very handy and versatile. Also some antacid for indigestion or heartburn, all that exotic food I always try out. Another essential to have while traveling Imodium. This will help you with traveler's diarrhea, upset stomach. Very important to have. Never leave home without it. Then some paracetamol. These are over the counter, readily available. You can use it for headaches, mild pain relief, also for fever. Very handy. This is an ibuprofen gel for any muscular pain or inflammatory conditions. You also get the ibuprofen tablets that you can take. Then also make sure you have an antiseptic. I love Sudocrem. This will work on burns, sunburn, blisters, lacerations, abrasions, you name it. It's very versatile antiseptic to have. And I have a variety of plasters and band-aids. These ones I love, they are waterproof. Get different size ones your normal 
band-aids and then I also have these steri strips butterfly strips call them what you want they very handy for wound closure if it's a bigger laceration that a band-aid can't sort out and you'll be surprised the size of a wound these can close I also have an adhesive dressing you can put it over anything from a boil abrasion cut a non-adhesive just a sterile wound dressing if your first aid kit is big enough it's good to have a bandage a roller bandage alcohol prep these ones are very handy to clean some skin oh look at this my nail clippers I was looking for them and I have some throat lozenges also helps with a sore throat dry mouth flying air conditioning and then finally I actually have some floss in my first aid kit and you can use it to tie up things floss your teeth even very handy to have there you go everything I travel with and that's what I suggest the very least you should consider having with you below I list everything for you so you have a checklist and also just a quick tip if you travel with any prescription medication make sure you have your prescription from your doctor with you at all times this will make it a lot easier when going through customs or if you stopped and asked about this medication that you are traveling with if you have any other comments or question put them down in the comments below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet and like this video share it with your fellow travelers until the next time stay healthy